Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your love reading for April. Uh, for some of you, happy birthday. Um, let's get into it, Taurus. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you in love. You have the Ace of Swords pop out off camera. So some of you get, get some real sharp clarity about a situation. Maybe you felt like at times, you know, your mind was clouded in terms of this, this thing or this person or this relationship. Uh, but now you see something, you see it clearly. Your mental is so sharp or somebody's mental around you is so sharp that it's going to cause conflict. Because see, look, when your mind is cloudy and you're making clouded judgment or judgments, People like that because they can keep you in a place of complacency, of stagnation. Maybe even they can say that you're stupid or stupidity. But now when you start seeing things clearly, when clarity rests in your heart and in your mind, oh, now there's going to be conflict because people are, are used to you being that old way. Maybe that way that didn't serve, you know, that way that didn't serve you, but it served them. All right, so let's get into this. Let's see what's going on with Taurus and love. The King of Cups, you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If not, you can be dealing with a, Lib a Libra too. Um, you're just trying to, right now, it's okay for some of you, I know this is a love reading, but you're focused on business because he is focused on business. And maybe you may even be focused on spirituality. You're trying to remain balanced, emotionally balanced, like not trying to pick from the wrong cup of emotion. You know, when this happened, you don't just grab the anger emotion or the frustration emotion. Or, or just the sorrow and the sadness. So you're really trying to stay balanced in terms of your emotions. Uh, you're not trying to show your emotions too much also. You're kind of detached, maybe even self-centered, or maybe you're dealing with someone like that. Someone who's able, who's capable, you know, have high capability of being emotionally manipulative because they're so emotionally balanced. They have these, the, the cups, you know, they have them separated so well, you know, you, they, they can manipulate their emotions here. Um, this is also somebody who could even be using spirituality, God, universe, you know, to manipulate also in their lower vibration. This is somebody who may even keep exes around just to speed their ego. Maybe even I get a few dollars from, oh my God. So somebody is keeping the exes around just to get a few dollars from them. Um, I don't know, somebody here who uh, could be a ladies man, could be, you know, uh, Casanova, uh, hopeless romantic, if, if that's the side that he wants to show you. Uh, let's see. Taurus, you're feeling like temperance. All right, so, um, you know, and the King of Cups is directly related to temperance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius here also. Um, there's a lot of compromise here. There could be a compromise in some love affair. In this love affair, you know, it could be more than one person is what I'm hearing. There, there could be drama or there. Somebody's trying to temper themselves in terms of not going overboard with this person because something about you already know how they are or you already know how it is. Um, Really just trying to uh, know when to draw on your masculine and, and then when to draw on your feminine side. Um, trying to remain emotionally balanced with the King of Cups and the Tempers card here. Uh, compromise. I don't know if you're trying to salvage your relationship or somebody's trying to do that with you, Taurus. Where they're just trying to, you know, kind of maneuver their way, manipulate their way. Um, and sometimes manipulation isn't always bad. It's only bad when it's used for bad. If I'm trying to manipulate um, the air control unit, you know, I'm taking it up. I'm taking it down. I'm trying to get it to the right temperature. So maybe somebody's trying to, hence the temper, temperance card. Somebody's trying to 
get things to the right temperature with you. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to warm you up here. Let's see how your person feels, Taurus. How does Taurus person feel? How does Taurus person feel? It looks like somebody's trying to butter you up, get you back, uh, keep you, maybe salvage a relationship here, at least keep it around or keep it on the back burner. Taurus, you feel like the eight of wands. You feel like you um, you want to have conversation, but you want clear conversation. Maybe that's that ace of swords that we were talking about in the beginning. The eight of wands talks about this is the manifestation of, okay? Um, you want to know what you're manifesting. You know, if it's just sex, let me know. If it's more than that, let me know. You want somebody to declare their intentions. What do you want? You know, what you want to know. You you can no longer rest in um, maybe just a lot of movement around you, but no words being spoken. Um, you feel like somebody, I heard somebody could be obsessed with you or obsessed with your body. Somebody's in and out. Somebody comes in or, or they love bomb you or they... They, you know, communicate with you, do all this communication. Maybe even they come to you, but at the same time, you just don't know what is leading to or what is lending to. Somebody is communicating with you, but they're not declaring what they really want with you. I think you already know, but you want to hear it from them. Some of you, if somebody wants to come back home or to your home or somebody's trying to butter you up to move back in or move back to toward you. Could be dealing with a Piscean person here also. Jesus Christ. Um, what's the outcome between Taurus and this person? Somebody could have had a drinking problem. No. Sometimes, yeah, I mean, it could be some type of addiction here. Or they could be addicted or obsessed with you. Something about mothering or a mothering, caring nature. I don't know. What's the outcome between Taurus and their person? The Queen of Wands. All right. So it's a good outcome. Damn, and the Queen of Swords. There could be, uh, I don't know, people could be talking about this relationship. There could be some talk around the relationship. You guys could come back together. Um, you could allow this person to come back toward you. The Queen, the queen of Wands is all about... She's magical. She's um, she's abundant. She's charismatic. Maybe this person is wanting you back because they see you in that light. They see you vibrating alone, looking good, still moving forward. Some of you want some truth, though. You want some truth and some clarity. Because somebody's reliability and devotion, their dedication is not with you. There there could be more than one person here, more than one woman, maybe one man, because we have one man and two women. Towards you could be dealing with somebody who somebody could be somebody could be doing magic here. Somebody's also focused on the mother of their children. I don't know. This is just crazy. Okay. This is driving me nuts. Um, this person could have more than one option here, but they're trying to focus on you. Maybe because it makes more sense to focus on you. They know that you're reliable. You're stable. You're hardworking. They don't want to let that go. They don't think they should let it go. They also have another option here um, to where if they, they feel like if they leave this person, that they, then they'll become jaded or they'll do something, you know, um, out of the ordinary or they'll do something 
um, massive or detrimental to them. Somebody's dedication is divided. Somebody's dedicated to two different parts. Not even dedicated. Somebody's just trying to play two different hands. You know? All right, Taurus. Um, I hope it resonates with you. If it does, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. The outcome is that you could actually... It looks like you... It, you guys could come back together, talk, or do something together. I don't see it being so strong to where like you're gonna run off into the sunset and get married or anything of that nature. But I mean, it's it's um it's stable enough, if you will. All links are below. Taurus, donate to the channel. Buy me a coffee. Text a question. Go over to the website. Book us reading there. Thank you, Taurus. Take care.